My name is Mike Jang, and I'll be your guide through the VTC videos, which will help you prepare to pass the Red Hat Certified Engineer exam. This video provides an overview of the RHCE exam. The videos in this course assume you've taken the VTC course for the Red Hat Certified Technician exam or have at least equivalent experience, such as those items cited in the syllabus for Red Hat's RH133 Red Hat Certified Technician course. While this course is based on the publicly available Red Hat outline for the RH253 course, it includes those additional RHCE requirements not already included in the outline for either RH133 or RH253. If you don't have enough experience in any of these areas, you may have to practice between tutorials. If you're new to Linux, this course won't nearly be enough. Red Hat suggests you need years of practical experience in heterogeneous network computing environments. We do not use brain dumps in this course. What we use is based on the noted public course outlines and the RHCE exam prep guide. Navigate to the RH253 course outline. We're not allowed to show you the website here because Red Hat is protective of its trademarks. However, you can see it for yourself, and I list the URL here. Next, navigate to the RHCE Exam Preparation Guide. You can review that for yourself at the URL shown here. As you can see, the prep guide includes requirements for both RHCT and RHCE exams. This makes sense, as the RHCT is a subset of the RHCE. In other words, everything you've done to prepare for the RHCT exam will help you pass the RHCE exam. Now let's review some mechanics. As described in the exam prep guide, there are two sections in the RHCE exam, and they're split up into two categories. The first section is known as troubleshooting and system maintenance. It includes RHCT and RHCE subsections. The five RHCT problems must be completed correctly within the first hour. Afterwards, you get one and a half hours to solve three of five problems in the RHCE subsection. And that's a total of two and a half hours. Next, after lunch break, you get the challenge of the installation and configuration section. It includes RHCT and RHCE subsections, and you need to score 70% on each subsection in order to become an RHCE. Of course, you also need to pass the troubleshooting and system maintenance section. To study for the RHCE, you need Red Hat Enterprise Linux. I emphasize Red Hat Enterprise Linux as this exam uses the Red Hat distribution of the Linux operating system. Red Hat includes its own special tools and locates key files in specific directories. Red Hat defaults within configuration files also differ from other Linux distributions. The current RHCE exam is based on the server version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5. Yeah, subscriptions are expensive, but there are options. First, Red Hat offers a 30-day evaluation, which supports updates. Since you need to know update tools for at least per the RHCE requirements, you need either a trial subscription or access to what's known as a rebuild distribution. What's a rebuild? As the source code behind Red Hat Enterprise Linux, is released under the Linux General Public License, third parties such as CentOS and Scientific Linux have rebuilt the distribution. These are known as rebuilds as they build their distributions from the same source code used by Red Hat for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5. So for our purposes, they're functionally identical. 
You can download their rebuilds from the URLs noted here. The only difference is that the rebuilds are not allowed to use Red Hat trademarks, such as the picture of the guy in the red fedora. Everything else is functionally identical for the purposes of this video and this course. Thanks, and on to the next video.